So starting the test drive in this Trailblazer, the engine seems just a little loud. I gave it a bit of throttle pulling out of the intersection there, but I mean, definitely not annoying or anything. It's just an interesting sound you're getting from the engine bay right now. But overall, I like how it accelerates. It's not slow. Of course, it's a three cylinder, so it's not super quick, but I mean, the acceleration is there and you're still able to get 30 miles per gallon on the highway. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space so that I can accelerate. And it's interesting having the nine speed here as opposed to the CVT. I feel like it's a bit more awkward to shift, but I'd rather have a traditional transmission that I can at least kind of shift when I put it into the manual mode. I'm gonna turn the lane keeping system on and then we've been in all wheel drive. I'm gonna turn the all wheel drive mode off now. We're gonna be in the front wheel drive mode let's see if I can pull up the, the fuel economy here. So I can't see the actual numbers here. I'm assuming that that is a five, 10, 15, 20. I don't know, but it's showing me the fuel economy there. There we go, there we go. So that's how we get the instant on there. And I can choose to show it in the cluster, change the distance, whatever. to show the uh, different average. But fuel economy is pretty good. Ride quality is very nice. I was doing just a little over the speed limit, so I don't expect the ride to really suffer that much more if you went a little faster. But I think it'd be a good commuter car, especially with these, uh, these Evotech seats. They hold up pretty nicely, and then you have this 10-way power seat. So even driving down the road, I'm adjusting because I'm like, I know I can do better here with 10 different ways to adjust to get to that perfect spot that's comfortable, but then also it's able to maximize space for the rear passenger. Now, I've always been a little intrigued by, now obviously a lot more people are going to smaller SUVs. The SUVs are kind of the way to go now. That's why you're seeing a lot of cars discontinued but I always thought the tracks, especially since they redesigned it, was extremely close to the Trailblazer. And I mean, this is 32 grand. You could probably get an active tracks for around 25, 24, 26, I'm not sure, but it's certainly gonna be cheaper than this Trailblazer. With a pretty similar powertrain setup. But I do like the looks of this Trailblazer. Again, just with how similar it is to the tracks, even the interior is almost identical to what I'm used to seeing in the tracks with this screen and then this gauge cluster here, which both pretty much got a refresh for 24 now that I think about it. So that's interesting. Now I don't think GM will have too much trouble selling these because they've been, they've been hot ever since they've come out. Specifically the Trailblazer since it came out in I think it was 21 but then since the tracks got its refresh for 24 it's you can't get your hands on those but I think this will be again a pretty great commuter car all things considered the technology and then we have the blind spot monitors here forward collision alert the lane keeping system and then just having your comfort features the three stage heated seats single zone automatic climate control as part of that convenience package and then also getting that 120 volt three prong in the back seat there as part of the convenience package you're you're good to go on road trips if you need to charge laptops phones and all of that or if you kind of work out of your vehicle but i mean a pretty impressive small suv i guess compact to subcompact suv in my opinion 
only thing I would like is probably an upgraded, which I'm assuming you can get a Bose sound system in here. I'd like to have that because it's a world of difference compared to these stock speakers, I think. Which the stock system isn't bad, but the Bose speaker is just that good. But again, pretty impressive refresh, and this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Trailblazer Active with all-wheel drive.